Hello everyone. Welcome to Switch Technologies YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain about Terraform 2. Means we can create resources in AWS. So Terraform tool is basically for creating infrastructure. We can call this Terraform as an infrastructure provisioning tool. So by using this tool, we can provide resources in any cloud. So today we are going to see how we can create resources using Terraform tool in AWS. So here I have logged into my AWS account and this is my AWS account. And here I have in installed Terraform and I have initialized Terraform also. This is the shell relating to the instance. So in this I have DMS. Here I have initialized Terraform, everything I have done and I have configured this AWS account in this provider's information. Like I have configured access key and secret key. Uh, and then today we'll see how we are going to create EC2 instance. So here I have, I have I'm having only one instance which is in running state. So let's try to create EC2 instance and let's see how we can automate the task using Terraform. So what I will do, I'm going to create one file here. .tf. So all the files must end with .tf extension. That is the default behavior of Terraform. Just open. So this is the code or this is the script using which we can automate the task. In this script, we can have AWS underscore instance. This is the resource name which I have to create in AWS cloud. This is the AMI. AMI we have to specify here. What in which region we want to create resource that also we need to specify in provider's information. I have already specified that also. So here, AMI we need to specify. From where we are going to get the AMI, we just click on this launch instance. Here you can choose required OS. Suppose if I want to launch Ubuntu OS, you can choose required OS. And then here you can choose required configuration, whichever you require. Let me choose this kind. And here you can get the AMI information. Just copy this one. And here, come to this AMI. We can give this ID. This is the one which I have been given. So instance type. So here we are having many types of instances. Just scroll down here. Here we can create we can create any kind of instances. T2 micro, T2 small, T3 medium, T2 large, many kinds of. Things. So let me take T2 micro only. So you can take any type. So but here this information you have to give you. Here it is there T3 micro. Let it be T3 micro, or else you can even take T2 micro also. Let me create T2 micro instance here and then tag. Tag means you can specify any name for your instance. So let me specify Swiss technology, instance name and specifying as Swiss technologies. So this is the, using this code, we can create the instance with this AMI and this is the type of instance and this is the name of instance, what I want to do. So just save this instance and then let's swipe enter. And then here, as of now, I am having only one instance, right? I have shown you, right? So just only Terraform instance, which is running. If I execute this Terraform script, whatever we have written just now, then we can see one instance will get created automatically with Swiss Technologies name. So let's try to do that. So before executing the script, we just have to validate the script. But that command is Terraform validate. This command will check for the syntax errors if you have any in your code. Yes, configuration is valid. So just do Terraform plan. Plan means it is a kind of dry run. Before applying for actual infrastructure, we will be doing Terraform plan in real time. So if you do Terraform plan, it will be showing all the 
cloud infrastructure which is going to create by this Terraform script. It will be showing the information, what are all the resources we are creating. See, it is telling one to add, zero to change, zero to test one. Means one resource to add, zero resources to change, zero resources to test one. We know what is that resource also. Here they will be giving you the resource also. Just clear the screen. Now you can do Terraform apply. If you do Terraform apply, that resource will get created. You just enter the value, yes. It is asking for your confirmation whether you want to create a resource or not. Just specify yes. Instances creating. This resource has been added. So you just, how to verify, you just refresh this page, one instance will get created, see, with the Swiss technologies name. Okay, this is the way we can automate the task. Not only this, this is a very, 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 very simple one, which I have been shown. We can even automate the task, any kind of cloud infrastructure we can provision using Terraform too. Not only in AWS, in Azure or in GCP, in any cloud platform, we can provide any kind of resources or any kind of infrastructure using this Terraform. Suppose if you want to delete this resource, yes, you just simply say Terraform destroy. That will destroy the complete resources, whatever we have provisioned. Just press enter, yes. It is destroying all the resources which I am having in my cloud environment. I know that these terms are very new to you. If you want to know further information about these technologies, just contact these details for more information. And here, by that time, it will be test it will be taking some couple of minutes yes resources to destroy why it is showing two means earlier i have created one more resource that's why it is destroyed the previous resource also so you just come to this page just refresh this one this instance will get terminated see terminated earlier it was created now it is terminated thank you guys if you want to more if you want to know further about this you can contact these details and if you have any doubt about this video also you can contact with this information so thank you guys thanks for watching